Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Proc. So the Proc modules are a series of four Eurorack modules uh, focusing on drum synthesis. So what I have right here is the BD, so it's the bass drum. You also have a hi-hat, a clap, and a snare drum, well, flavor of this. But the beautiful thing is, is that you can actually interchange these, well, these sounds. So you can make a snare drum out of your bass drum and vice versa, and all of the other things along there with it as well. So what I want to do is I want to show you some of the capabilities of the latest firmware release. And I also want to show you how easy it is to actually swap these firmwares. So I do have to thank both Proc and Thonk for making this unit available to me to test and to play around with and to actually record this video with. Um, so guys, thanks again for uh, making this available to me. And for now, I would just say, well, make sure you're sitting down because um, here we go. So here we have a proc drum unit up close and personal. In this case, I've got the bass drum one. So what I want to show you in this video is how to work with any of the proc drum modules, how that works, what the workflow is, how you can utilize them in your patches. I then want to show you how easy it is to upgrade the firmware. And I also want to show you how you can easily switch between having a bass drum to a snare drum, to a hi-hat, to a clap, to a clunk. Any of the other, well, patches can be loaded on any of the prop modules. So essentially this can become any sort of drum module that you need um, for your specific patch. And um, yeah, let's take it from there. So the first things first is how do, do these sound? So let's power up my rack here. There we go. So first thing is we have the grid there that we can traverse with the knobs here. So you can do, you can do halfway points, just mix sounds together and you can then trigger them by either pressing this button or you can of course say, well, I want to have a, a trigger coming in. There we go. And trigger them from there. And then you can actually just listen to the changes traversing the grid will make. And even if this was, was it, it would have been a very, <laughs> a very worthy module. But what you can also do is just hold this button and switch to a different bank that will contain its specific sounds there. And you can have multiple of these banks loaded on your prop module. I'm just gonna go back to the first one we were working with. It's just a matter of just holding down the uh, the button here. So this is the, the first one we had. So anything I'm doing with the knobs here can of course also be done by using CV. So I'm just gonna use the phraser here to uh, automate that. So first the, uh, the X. And then the same thing for the Y. use these as offsets of course. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you just how to work with a proc drum module. 
Next thing is, of course, I want to show you how you can work with the proc firmware tool. So you need to go to proc.co.uk, go to apps and go to the proc drum central firmware tool, download it for for Mac or for Windows. I'm running Windows right now and you'll download it as a zip file. And what you'll need to do is once you've double click the actual executable, it'll come with a warning. And that warning is telling you, okay, well, we don't know what kind of application this is. It hasn't been signed, more info. And if you click more info, you can actually press run anyway. So this comes with a big disclaimer. I'm not telling you to just run any sort of software. I am telling you that if you want to run this program, you need to be absolutely certain that you're running it from a trusted location. So from proc.co.uk, make sure that you are absolutely certain that this is the right one and then press run anyway. What you'll then see is if you've got your prop module connected the right way, so that is with a micro USB connector at the bottom of the module, um, it'll actually show up in the prop drum central. So right now I only have one module here and you can then do several things here. You can do locate, which is actually gonna trigger the uh, the, the sound once and flash the, the button, there you go. And you can load specific banks. If there's an upgrade available for your firmware, you can just press this and it's gonna upgrade that. I'm running the latest firmware already, so uh, no upgrade for me. And then you can click the settings from there. And here you can actually change the behavior of the X and Y CV inputs. So you can, instead of just doing the X and Y morph, you can go to tune your unipolar or bipolar. And for the Y, you can do a decay unipolar or bipolar. So just select them and then just power off your module, power it back on, and you're gonna see that your settings are the, are set the right way. So you can now use that. So instead of having the X and Y, you now have the tune available. And the same thing is true for the decay. So again, adding to the, well, versatility of this module. Then the next fun thing is, instead of just using this as a bass drum, we can go to a change the kick to a snare, to a hi-hat, a clap or a clonk. So let's load the snare first, upload firmware. There you go. Takes a couple of seconds. So let's switch this back to X and Y morph. So now we have our snare drum. And we can do the same thing, of course, and switch it to a uh, to a hi hat. or to a, uh, to a clap. What's the clunk? It is that damned easy to do. Let's go back to the kick. So I personally, I prefer the, 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 the kick drum sound. It, I think it's so damn versatile and you can do you can use this in any of your patches, whether you want to make ambient, whether you want to make techno, whether you want to make any sort of music, there is gonna be a, a drum sound on your proc drum module. So I would strongly advise everyone to look into the availability of proc in your, in your neighborhood and pick them up ASAP. Uh, but for now, I would say, let's just uh, create a, a quick patch with this. 
just gonna grab the two OPFM and I'm gonna use the second phrase to do the tune and do the actual FM. trigger and make sure that you have the trigger coming in back into this one and into the actual let's give that this one One of the other fun things to do with Proc is just pass it through some distortion. So I'm just going to pass it through the MT2D by Sonar Current. So this is the tube OPFM through that. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the actual Proc drum. You can make anything you want with this. So I hope you enjoyed this quick deep dive into the PROC drum modules. I do have to thank PROC and THONK for making this unit available to me. Guys, thank you so much. And uh, for now, I would say let's go back to the studio and uh, wrap this up, shall we? Thanks so much. Cheers. <laughs> so I truly hope you enjoyed this video as much as I uh, did while making it. And I think that I've got a good grasp of what the prop modules are capable of. And I hope uh, I was able to convey that to you, the audience, as well. Um, so it doesn't really... Well, it, it wouldn't come as a surprise to say that I'm really taken by the whole prop ecosystem. And I just love what they've been able to do with just a, well, in essence, just a single module and how they've been able to expand that into a complete drum system. So if you are in desperate need of a drum module or maybe a complete drum setup, uh, give Proc a, uh, a try, give them a listen. Um, you might also want to consider getting the Proc plugins for VCV Rack to play play along with for uh, to get your uh, appetite going. For now, I would say, well, that's about it. I truly love these modules, and I wouldn't go a day without them. And because I've been using other modules to uh, cater to my drum needs, uh, but this has now become a staple in my setup. So again, I would say. Thanks so much, Prok and Thunk, for uh, for making this available. Thank you all back home for uh, for watching, 
And for now, we'll just say, well, please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.